What's going on, y'all? Sports fans nationwide. This is rivalry week uh, for college football, week 12 in the college football season, and it doesn't get any bigger than the Iron Bowl. Um, the Iron Bowl has been uh, one of the best rivalries in uh, all of sports as it features Auburn uh, versus Alabama. The series is almost uh, tied. Um, nine games separate these two particular teams, and uh, the stakes couldn't be any higher uh, for Alabama, who was seeking, uh, coming off of one of their most dominant performances in a season ever, really. I mean, I've never seen an Alabama team that scores 50-plus points in multiple games, and we're going to get into this. I, I think, um, you know, if you're on one side, you're saying War Eagle, and on the other side, you're saying Roll Tide. The state of Alabama is literally uh, split in half uh, for this game. Some of the locals may even, may even go out on a limb and say that, uh, you know, this should be a holiday in Alabama. Businesses, well, except for the bar, should be closed. Uh, for Iron Bowl, but we're going to get into this. Auburn has a lot of work to do if they think they're going to have a shot at even sustaining themselves uh, in this football game. One of the things that I think Auburn absolutely has to do is they have to change their trend with the time of possession. Uh, in the seven SEC games that they played, the offense averages 23.34 minutes on the field, meaning that the defense spends the other 37 minutes on average. In some games, it was actually more than that because there were a couple of games where Auburn had a staggering 18 minutes uh, time of possession. And that kind of stuff happening against a team like Alabama could prove very disastrous. Um, the number two thing that I think Auburn has to do is they have to take advantage of the small opportunities. For example, you know, you think again, time of possession. When you're in favorable down and distance situations such as second and two, I think Auburn needs to call high percentage plays. They don't need to get cute around this time they need to call those high percentage uh well maybe not up the middle but high percentage plays to go ahead and get the first down and keep the chains moving i know gus malzahn likes to get real creative when he has a favorable uh down and distance but i think chip Lindsay and gus malzahn needs to go ahead and get the first downs and continue to string along drives because the best thing that auburn can do for themselves in this game is find and create the small opportunities number three I think the defense needs to continue to the bend but don't break thing, but I'm a little nervous about this because Alabama does very well in the red zone. I don't. I just don't think Auburn ha has a good enough defense against a team as elite as Alabama to stop them in the red zone. I think Auburn needs to has to force more punts. They also need to continue their trend in the middle of the third quarter, late in the third quarter, where they start to force turnovers. Happen for them big time in. The Texas A&M game, which gave them an opportunity to come back to win that game and also gave them an opportunity uh, in the Georgia game as well with the key interception. If Auburn can get a couple of those and kind of start to even the playing field, because that's one of the few ways that Auburn or any team for that matter has been able to even playing fields against teams as elite as Alabama is you have to have the turnovers. You have to have uh, forced penalties. You have to have miscues. I helped Auburn a lot last year um, when they played Alabama. Number four is they have to find a running game. Now, this is I, I, I say that to say this. I don't want anybody to get this thing misconstrued. This doesn't have to be a Kenny Irons, Brad Lester, Carnell Williams, Trey Mason type run game. Hell, for that matter, even carry on Johnson. You don't need that kind of running game because you're not going to get it anyway because they didn't get it. Maybe Brad Lester. Maybe I had to look at some stats. Maybe uh, Carnell Williams a couple of times. But either way, those guys at times struggled against Alabama's defense so what you need against a team like Alabama you need to find ways to get those three those four yards um, to kind of keep the time rolling to kind of give you a favorable down and distance uh, you know to give yourself an opportunity uh, down the stretch and I think if Auburn can do and oh, oh by the way it's nice to have Cam Martin back that gives him another element uh, in the run game a little bit of experience as well um, but here's the thing you know, I think Auburn's best wish is to sustain themselves in this game, to continue to give them opportunities to stay in the game, stay in the game, stay in the game. And this, we're not talking about winning here. We're talking about staying in the game, creating opportunities for themselves to where you may have a, you ain't going to do no kick six again, but to where you have opportunities to possibly steal the game away. That's the only way Auburn's going to have uh, success here. Now, here's the skinny on Alabama. Alabama's averaged 48.6 points 
per game. The last three games, however, averaged 37, including 24 against Mississippi State. Their offensive output has absolutely been amazing. Most of the year, as most games were well in hand by halftime, Tua Tungavaloa has been amazing, 2,865 yards, and he's had limited playing time. I think this is key. Uh, this is pos- This could possibly lead to a Heisman Trophy uh, for Tua Tungavaloa. Alabama is literally staring at an SEC championship national championship all of those things are on the table what is the key for the tide to continue this well i think you know the tide has to continue to move the chains alabama has been incredible at moving the chains 276 first downs this year versus what they allow opponents which is 164 and they can absolutely wear auburn's defense down doing this just this alone Number two, the domination has to continue from the offensive line, including the huge play from Quinnen Williams, Isaiah Duggs, and the Raquan Davis. They've, they've had a lot of defensive production uh, for Alabama. It's been really hard to, to run the ball against these guys, and it's been equally hard um, to have enough time to throw the football. And last but not least, I think Tua Tungvaloa needs to continue to be himself. He has been an absolute force on this Alabama offense he's given Alabama he's he's allowed them to optimize their potential offensively he sees the football field very well he has just phenomenal intelligence phenomenal instincts for the game you know Auburn would you know they would he has to neutralize Auburn's defense and have all options available as he's had most of the year the check down to the running back the tight end Jerry Judy, Ruggs, those guys. If he gets that train going, Alabama will literally be hard to stop. All right, guys, it's prediction time. When I look at the totality of circumstance, I, I look at Auburn has struggled mightily offensively. Their defense is, uh, you know, has been fatigued. Although the defense has only allowed, you know, the most they allowed all year, even though they've been on the field all season long, is 30 points. However, this is a different beast in Alabama. I think Alabama has just... The first time we've ever seen them this explosive on offense and have an equally dominant uh, defense, I think this is going to be very problematic um, for Auburn. So what I'm looking at, if if we're honest about this thing and we're honest about the totality of circumstance, I see Alabama winning this game 41 to 17. And the reason why I see this is because I just don't think Auburn has the ability to put to uh, offensive wise to put themselves their defense in favorable situations and they're going to get just simply worn down by the anxiety the allure of what Alabama brings to the table once again it's case to the goat I hope you all enjoy watching this Iron Bowl which is about to take place in a couple of hours uh 2 30 in central uh central time and 3 30 uh eastern time you all have a good day and if you for Auburn is War Eagle and if you for Alabama is Roll Tide Iron Bowl 2018. I'm definitely excited to watch this. You all take it easy.